Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. Uh, today we're going to talk about exporting and importing MIDI files from and to Reaper. Now, why might this be useful? Well, there are many reasons, but one possible scenario, let's say that you're working on a song and for some reason you need to switch from one DAW to another. Now, especially if you're still going to use basically the same plugins, then exporting MIDI files from one DAW and importing them into another might be enough for you to kind of seamlessly keep on working on your song. Now let me show you how to do this in Reaper. Okay, so here we have a little song I just created, uh, a little loop actually. Um, it consists of some drum sounds, so kick, snare, hi-hat, uh, a bass, organ and some synth sounds. Uh, so pretty basic. Just to give you a little idea, let's have a listen. Okay, now let's say that we want to export some MIDI information from this song. Now first thing to do is to go up here to File and then go to Export Project MIDI. Okay, you'll be presented with this dialog box and let's go over some of the options real quickly. Okay, now the first part is all about the input. So consolidate time, here you can choose between entire project or time selection only. Pretty self-explanatory, you can either uh, export MIDI information from within a particular time selection or MIDI information from the beginning until the end of the project. Okay, now consolidate MIDI items. Here you can choose between all selected tracks only and selected items only. Now again, also very self-explanatory. If you want to include only some items into your MIDI file, then select those items and choose this option. If you want to include some but not all tracks, select those tracks and choose this option. If you want to include everything, then choose this option. Now in this case, I want to create a MIDI file that contains absolutely everything, so I'm going to set it to all. Okay, now let's take a look at the output settings. First of all, you have to decide on where on your computer you want to save the MIDI file, and you can do that here. So let's click Browse, and as you can see, I've already created a folder called MIDI Exports, so that's what I will select. Uh, now next, you have the option to either uh, merge all MIDI data into one single MIDI track, or you can create a multi-track MIDI file, and that's what I will choose. Now there are a few more options. You can embed project tempo and time signature changes. You can embed SMPTE offset information and you can export project markers as MIDI. So some nice additional options, but for now I'm not gonna bother with those. I'm just gonna export it like this. So I'm gonna click OK. And this little window will pop up basically telling us that Reaper wrote seven tracks of MIDI to the location we've just selected. And if we click show in Explorer, we can see that in fact a MIDI file has been created. So that is how you export a MIDI file. Now let's take a look at how to import a MIDI file. Now this is actually the very same song as before. I've just removed all parts, so all MIDI information is gone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring back the MIDI information by simply importing the MIDI file I've just exported. Okay, the first thing to do now is to open the Media Explorer. So, View and Media Explorer. Okay, next search for the MIDI file. I've got it right here. And then drag it to wherever you want it to be, like this. Okay, next we will be asked if we want to expand seven MIDI tracks to new Reaper tracks. In this case seven because I also exported seven MIDI tracks. Now I have to say that this line is a little bit misleading. Why? Because yes, if you actually do want to expand seven MIDI tracks to new Reaper tracks, then this makes sense. But in this case I don't want new Reaper tracks because I already have seven Reaper tracks that I want these MIDI tracks to appear on, because these tracks already contain a lot of settings that I want to keep. So I don't want to expand to new Reaper tracks, I want to expand to already existing Reaper tracks. But it seems that for some reason Reaper will not present that option, and I don't know why. I mean maybe it's a bug, 
or maybe I'm overlooking something. If anyone knows the answer to that question, please let me know. Um, anyway, I'm still going to select this option because in my experience, it doesn't really seem to matter if you want to expand to new tracks or to existing tracks. As long as you drag that MIDI file to the right location, it'll still work. So as I drag the MIDI file to the first track, it should then expand to the underlying already existing tracks. So let's click OK. And voila! Now to prove to you that this is in fact the same MIDI information, let's once again listen to this song. So that's it. So that is how you import MIDI into Reaper. And this also concludes this tutorial. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.